Here's the instructional video for rolling the rib cage on the floor. All right, so in our protocol or in our recipe, in our series, we just finished the rolling the back technique. So now we're gonna move on to our rolling the rib cage technique. And what we're gonna have Jenna do is we're gonna have her get off the roller. Now, even though we're only six inches off the ground, we're not very high, the brain just isn't used to being in this kind of a position when you first start this, the, these, these sessions. And so to get off the roller safely and comfortably, what we encourage people to do is that we're gonna have them pick what side of the bed they get out on. So if Jenna it gets out of her bed on the left side, we're going to have her come off the roller on her left side. And so nice and easy, Jenna's just going to kind of roll over and she's just going to lower herself onto the floor. And then she's just going to slide the roller out from underneath and she's safely off the roller. And this is going to be our transition into getting ready to roll the rib cage. So now she's going to go ahead and sit herself up just a bit. We're going to pull this roller around and now we're going to start this uh, rib cage technique. Now, just like the other patterns in the body, the tissues in the body tend to get pulled and migrated in certain directions just because of how we use our body as human beings. So with some of the relief through rolling techniques, we're actually gonna be rolling our body on the rollers. And some of these other techniques, like the rib cage technique, where actually the roller is gonna stay relatively still and the body is gonna be moving and we're using the roller to, to kind of move our body against it. And this is gonna be one of those techniques. So so the pattern that happens in the rib cage is that the rib cage starts to compress in the front and all of this tissue starts to migrate anterior and starts to move forward to the forward side of the body. So to help open up this rib cage, which has a huge impact on how the muscles on the back side of the body have to work, we're going to coax them a certain direction. So what Jenna's going to do is she's going to just lay right here on the ground nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed. And keeping in mind, if anything that we're doing in the relief through rolling system on the floor is not working for your body for any particular reason, you can go to any of the variations and look at the link for, for being able to do the variation either in a standing or in a seated position. So we have Jenna on the floor here. So what she's gonna do is that her legs are nice and soft. Her uh, top arm is gonna be on the roller. And the reason that we're gonna keep this arm here is that's gonna help keep her rib cage open. What some people will do is that when they bring this rib cage or this arm down forward or maybe onto the floor here, and is actually gonna round and compress that shoulder girdle. And that's kind of the opposite movement or holding pattern which we're trying to, we wanna correct that. So by keeping this hand on the roller here, that's gonna keep her rib cage open. This whole forearm goes on the ground here. She's actually gonna start the roller at about her diaphragm level or for uh, you ladies about where the bra strap sits. Now the start position for this technique is that she's actually going to put her body forward just a little bit where her, her sternum is pointed a little bit at the ground at this angle right like this. So that's our start position and remember you can go a little faster pace to get into the start position. But when we do the actual technique, which is what we're gonna do next, we wanna always go that sticker slow speed. So now that Jenna is just in a very comfortable start position, sticker slow, she's just gonna roll herself back to just a little bit being behind what we call the vertical line. So if this is neutral or this is straight up and down, she's just gonna roll a little bit past that. What we don't want to do is we don't want to roll too far this way because now again it's like a plank and she's exercising and it's going to tighten everything up. So as she gets back to her neutral position, she's just going to lift her weight a little bit off the roller to get into the start position. She's going to relax her body, let everything soften into the roller, and then at her sticker slow speed, she's just going to push with this arm and roll that rib cage. And she's going to do that same thing in that same spot for about three times. So we're going to do one more. She lifts her weight up. She repositions to where that sternum is pointing more at the floor. Nice and easy. She's going to stick her slow, roll back to a little bit towards the back side of her body, but not much. And then after she were to do two or three of those, what she's going to do next is now she's going to lift her body up just a little. She's going to move the roller a little higher up her body. And then we're going to replicate or we're going to repeat that same process. So she's going to get forward nice and easy here and then she's going to stick her slow, push herself nice and soft, letting her body sink into the roller as she's doing this a little bit past vertical. She would do that two or three times and then she's going to do that all the way up into where she gets into her arm 
her armpit essentially. There's some very large, powerful muscles that sit up into that upper portion of the arm that actually have a really big impact on contracting and pulling your body forward. And this helps give them a sensation that they can soften and not do that so hard, which will really change your posture, allow that rib cage to come up so you're not working so hard. And that ultimately takes a tremendous amount of pressure off of the back because now the back isn't playing tug of war with that front side of the body. And so again, the magic number that we're gonna work each spot is two to three times. And then the big thing to keep in mind is that if this is sore or uncomfortable at all, you can either take your towel and put your towel down and cover the roller to soften up the roller a little bit. And or if you're getting any strain, it's either uncomfortable on your bottom hip or you are straining in your neck in this position, we would have you go right to the wall and do the wall version of rolling the rib cage.